In this video I'm going to talk about how to download and set up Elementor which is a page builder for WordPress. It's also the page builder we use just in case you were wondering. The reason we chose Elementor is because it's extremely versatile and the basic version of it is free. This means you can take it for a test drive without paying any money but if you like what you see you can choose to upgrade to the pro version. Our tutorial only uses the features available in the free version of Elementor just to give you an idea of how powerful it is. So to get started, you come to your WordPress dashboard, we come down to plugins and click on add new. Then up here again, just click on it, search for Elementor. And as you can see, it's in, it's a free plugin for WordPress. It has 2 million active installs and five star ratings from nearly 4,000 people. Click on install now. Give it a couple of moments. And it should be ready any second now. It's installed and then we're going to activate it. So straight away on the left hand side of the page you'll find a submenu item for Elementor. that has things like settings, role manager tools, and lots of other bits and pieces there. But what we're actually going to do is show you how quickly you can put together a typical page for an Amazon affiliate site. Just to show you how incredibly powerful Elementor actually is. So what we see here is the slightly new layout for WordPress. If you haven't upgraded to uh, the new Gutenberg interface, then this is what it looks like. So we are going to give the page a title. First, I'm going to call it Best Toaster Ovens for Under $100. And then just above it there, you can see it says Edit with Elementor. So if we click on that, it would bring us into the default Elementor interface. As you can see, there's a dock on the left hand side and all the different, uh, in Elementor they're called widgets, but they'd be called, you've, you'll hear other teams calling them like modules or blocks or whatever. So the first thing we're going to add in is, you can add a new section here. I'm just going to do that. And we're not going to style it. We click up here, it brings us back to the default menu. I'm going to make this a make this a text block. So you can see here, you can edit the text either here in the left hand menu, or you can do it in line. So I'm just going to quickly copy and paste in some text, get rid of any weird spaces, and then. So that's our heading is done. We have a little block of text there at the, t at the start. And the next thing now is we're going to add a new section again, and we're going to make it an image. So as you can see, you just drag and drop the elements in. There's no fiddling around with code. So you'll get the image kind of placeholder here. You come over here, you click on choose image, and we have a toaster oven when we prepared earlier in the day, as they say in the cookery shows. So now we have our header, our little bit of intro text, and the next thing we're going to do is go back out, and we're going to add another section here. I'm going to make it an inner section. The inner section is just going to have some bullet points about this fantastic toaster oven. So we need to add a text element there and we're going to add text element here so what we're going to do now is just bullet point these okay so now we have our header, we have a block of text, we have an image, and we have our bullet points. And the next thing we can add in here is going to add in a button. So if we simply drag the widget over, drop it, it's in there, come over to where we can center it. And then we are going to style it. And the only style I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the color of the button itself to something a bit more clickable, kind of a bright orangey red. 
do that and just to show you how quickly you can add animations to your buttons even though i'm not a fan of animated buttons we can change it to zoom in go back out again and we are going to add if we scroll down a little bit there should be a star rating widget and we're going to drop our star rating just underneath there we're going to center it and we're going to change it to four star rating and that's it as you can see really quick now obviously your typical amazon affiliate review is going to be a little bit more elaborate than that but you can see just how quick and easy it is to drag widgets across add text add bullet points add a button and then you don't even need to go ahead and publish it straight away you can just click on save draft which take a couple of seconds and you can even preview it so that's what it looks like now in a web browser with the animated button and then if we pop back into the editor itself you've seen the preview changes you can also preview what it looks like on a desktop tablet mobile device and then finally we're just going to exit back out to the wordpress dashboard itself and that's it so in less than eight minutes we've installed activated um and set up a basic page with the elementor page builder and that's exactly why we use it and why we think it's such a good option for both new and established affiliates we'll talk to you in the next video